A vascular ring is essentially an encirclement of the airway and usually the esophagus from a blood vessel. And that usually is a large blood vessel that comes in and out of the heart. And so when it's called a vascular ring, that means you have vascular structures going completely around and surrounding these structures. But that's not always the case. Sometimes it's kind of a false ring. And even though it's called a vascular ring, because part of it has become in a way that there's no more blood flow going through it and there's just a fibrous tendon. But nonetheless, the effect is the same. This can produce compression symptoms from this encirclement or tightening of the uh, structures, both in the airway level manifested by difficulty breathing, frequent respiratory infections, noisy breathing. And with the esophagus, if it's compressing the esophagus, it can manifest itself as swallowing difficulties, things getting stuck, things like that. Symptoms of vascular rings usually vary per patient, but they most often involve the respiratory or gastrointestinal systems. Respiratory-wise, you would see frequent coughing or congestion. You might have more upper respiratory infections that require antibiotics, steroids, or even hospitalizations, or your child might just be a very noisy breather. From a gastrointestinal perspective, that usually involves swallowing difficulties. So your child might have trouble with choking, gagging, or coughing with foods or liquids, or they might complain that something's getting caught in their throat. Vascular rings are definitively diagnosed through a CT angiogram or MRI. Occasionally they can be picked up by an echocardiogram or we might suspect an anomaly if the child has certain gastrointestinal or respiratory symptoms. If you suspect a vascular ring, you should follow up with your home cardiologist. We also recommend following up with the pediatrician about any gastrointestinal or respiratory symptoms because those could also be related to a secondary diagnosis like asthma or reflux, and they can further help treat those or refer to the appropriate provider. You can potentially detect a vascular ring prenatally either through a fetal echocardiogram or MRI. If that is suspected, then that can help guide future testing or imaging that we might need when the baby is born.